Trinity School gives women in Appalachia a crash course in self-esteem. Appalachia, historically one of the poorest regions of the country, a place where many families still live below the poverty level. Robin is like many of the women living here. I live in a small town that's stuck out in the middle of nowhere where no one knows about us. Since I was a small child, I've never really felt that good about myself. I was married at 16. I was pregnant when I graduated high school. And then I had my next child at 18. I never really felt like I had any options. Now a single mother, Robin says she was desperate to create a better life for herself and her children. I just felt like I needed to do something to show them that I was a smart person, that I was capable of more. Libby also lives in Appalachia. When her husband was laid off last fall, the family could not make ends meet. The rent was due, the electric bill was due, water bill. But I knew my rent had to be paid because I had to have a roof over my children's head. I went to my bedroom and I said a prayer. God, lead me in the direction that you want me to go. I need help. I don't know where to go, what to do. Libby and Robin are two women being given a chance at a new life. The New Opportunity School for Women is a program for low-income, undereducated women in Appalachia. Jane Stevenson helps women reach goals they never thought possible. The majority of the women who come to our program have family incomes of less than $10,000 a year. And they want to get off the welfare rolls, they want to have a job, they want to be independent, they do not like having to take handouts. Women leave their families for three weeks for an intensive course in which they make over their lives from the inside out. Not only do they learn writing, math, computers, job skills, more importantly, they learn how to find their dreams and make them come true. We feel it's so important that the women learn just how much they have to offer the world and believe in themselves. At the end of the three weeks, families and friends arrive for graduation. Finally, it's time for the new graduates to say thank you and goodbye. This has been one of the most powerful experiences in my whole life. The people I've met, the places they took me, it's just been overwhelming. The hope of becoming a professional and to hold my head up high excites me beyond words. Wow. Wow. To do that for somebody. Congratulations, Jane. I have a $100,000 user life award for new opportunities for you. say thank you to our generous viewers for supporting our angel network i believe that together we're doing some really great things you can see that's just some of the things that we do if you'd like to donate to our angel network you can go to our website at oprah.com or send a check to oprah's angel network uh post office box a uh, nine six six hundred chicago illinois 60693 and as i mentioned earlier 100 percent of your donations goes to help the causes that you see here on the air but more importantly even than your check more important than your check is for all of you who are watching right now to think about how you can use your life. I believe all of us are born with a gift that somebody is just waiting to receive. Thank you. Up next, Elizabeth Smart back home, but police want to know where she has been. The White House suggests delaying a crucial U.N. vote. A medical mistake has a woman worried as to whether or not she has cancer and helping children sleep through the night. It is all next.